I'm visiting with Granny again today to ask her more of uh, your wonderful questions that all of you have submitted. In this video, we're going to really focus on the ones that you've asked about Pap, about Granny's husband, my father, Jerry. We're going to start with, with those and just focus on those. There were so many submitted. So first of all, how did you and Pap meet? How did you and Daddy meet? We met across the road from my house, across the highway. Uh, Jerry's uncle was married to the woman that lived across the road. And they both knew me and Jerry, and they wanted us to meet. So they asked me to come over to her house to meet Jerry, and I did. And he walked me back home. He was really nice. So today, the four lane divides those two houses. Was yeah. there was the four lane there then, or was it a two lane I think road? It was just two lanes. Two lane road, yeah. Two, two lane highway then. So what did you think? Did you like him? Yeah, I liked him because he said, uh, if I ever decided I could go out with him to call him. Oh. And he'd come. Did your mama and daddy meet him when he come back, brought you back home, walked you home? Yeah. Uh -huh. How old were you? Well, we we just went together about three months, and then we got married. And so I was 24 when we got married. And he was, how old was he? He's a couple of years older than me. He, he had just got out of the Marines mm -hmm. the year I graduated from high school. Okay. Of course, I didn't know him then. Yeah. Was he your first bow? No. No. How many bows did you have? Well, I'd have to take time and count them. I had several, <laughs> but you have to forget about them when you get married. Yeah, that's true. Did you ever have, what kind of dates did you go on first? Would you go to church or out to eat or? Oh, me and your daddy. Yeah. Uh, we went to church. It's one of the first places we went. We'd go out to eat. Did you go to Shady Grove there or where did you go or to the church no, he was we going went to? to Magus Chapel. Magus Chapel. <coughs> yeah. So when you come to Magus Chapel, is that the that's the a church that's very very close to us? And I even have a video about it. I could link to it so you could see it uh, if you've not if you missed that video, but. It was that the first time you'd ever been in this country, as Daddy would say, out yeah, through here, yeah. was it? Did you think it was pretty? Yeah, I thought it was pretty. Mm -hmm. When you'd go out to eat, where would you go to eat at? I mean, what kind of places was in Murphy then? Do you remember? Uh, did we'd go different places. I can't remember now. Or maybe you didn't go to Murphy. Did you go to somewhere else? Uh, I can't remember for okay. sure, but I know we did. Did you ever have a funny experience on a date? Oh, it's not a funny experience exactly, but there was snow on the ground and Jerry come to see me and we drove over to my sister's house. And to get to her house, you had to go up a steep hill. And I was amazed how good Jerry could drive in the snow. Of course, I couldn't drive at all back then. He was a good driver. And uh, yeah, I was impressed. Yeah. He was a good driver. Was that Faye and Woodrow or Jean and Roy? Who was that? It's Faye and Woodrow. Yeah. Did they like Daddy? Yeah, they seemed to. I mean, in the beginning, I know they did later, of yeah, course, they, I can remember. They seemed but, to. Yeah. And so you said you dated three months. Mm -hmm. About three months. Mm -hmm. How did he propose to you? How did? Well, we, we'd been somewhere and we was going down back to my house down Highway 64. And he asked me to marry him as we was going down the road. And you just said yes, or did you say you have to think about it? or? Well, first I said no. <laughs> and just, you know, I wasn't expecting it. And then he looked real pitiful. <laughs> and so I changed it to yes real fast. <laughs> he looked real disappointed. Well, how did you uh, know that he was the one that you was willing to say yes? Well, everybody told me how good he was, how good a man he was, gentle and kind and everything. He was nice looking, and too. And I thought he was nice looking. Didn't Granny Gazzy tell you something about him being, you better hold on to him or something? Uh, I can't remember now. 
I'm sure she did. She's always liked me giving advice. Was he romantic? Well, in a way he was, but in a way he wasn't. What about the your marriage when you did get married? Did you set a wedding date? How did you do that? Well, once uh, you said yes, we went and got our marriage license, and uh, I was planning on having a little wedding in the preacher at the church to marry us. But Jerry, he started talking about let's just get married today. Let's just get married today, and he wanted a country preacher to marry us, and so we. We uh, stopped at two or three different houses where he knew a preacher lived, and they was gone, so they went home. So he said, I said, well, let's just wait, you know. So he said, we'll try one more place, and if the preacher's not there, we'll postpone it. So he talked me into it, you know, getting married that day. And the, the last place we stopped, the preacher was home, and we got married. So where did you go to get your marriage license? Blue Ridge. How come? That was just a quicker way to get it or a closer or what? Well, I, I had went there with one of my friends yeah. and her boyfriend and, and they got their marriage license. So I thought it was a nice place to go. Mm -hmm. So that's Blue Ridge, Georgia, which is not mm -hmm. too far, wouldn't have been far, but still wasn't in the state of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So then when you got back home, what did you do? Did you just tell your mom and daddy, hey, I got married? Well, I was afraid to tell mama. And uh, so I called daddy in the house and told him to go tell her. And uh, she she wasn't expecting it, you know, and she got really upset. But uh, after she got to know Jerry, I think she liked him better than she did me. <laughs> That's true, I think she did. If I said anything about him, he'd take, she'd take up for him. Did, uh, while he, your daddy was telling her and she got mad, what was daddy doing? What was Pap doing? Was he just kind of hanging around or well, sitting outside? Yeah, or? he was just, I don't know, he may have been in, still been in the car, I can't remember. Did they say anything to him, like you better take care of her? Or? My mama did. Did you ever sing with Pap? Everybody knows that he was a singer. Did you sing with him? Yeah, we used to. We lived in an apartment in town. We'd we'd sing for hours, and he'd if I couldn't sing it in one key, he'd change it to one I could sing. So, we had a lot of hours together. You sing singing. it, sing at churches and other people's houses and stuff like that. Yeah. You had buddies, you'd go to their house and sing a lot, wouldn't you? Slim them namies. Mm -hmm. People come to your house and sing. Yeah, yeah. Did you mostly sing, I guess, gospel songs is what you sung? Yeah. Ones that you grew up singing in church or ones Daddy had found or? Oh, some that we'd sung in church and some that he knew that I didn't know. How did you get here to Wilson Holler? So when you was first married, you didn't live here? No. Uh, the first time I come here, he brought me, you know, down to his mother's house. And, uh... So how did you end it, up here? Did you buy the land, or what no, happened? No, his daddy gave him this place for us to, for him to build a house for us. Before that, you lived just in rented houses in different places? Yeah, we did. Murphy yeah. and then in Martin's Creek. And yeah. Who helped you and Pat build the house when you was building it? Well, his brother helped Jerry haul the trusses for the roof. And uh, I don't remember if he hauled any lumber or not, but he had a wood truck. Him and Pat, him and uh, Jerry's daddy, they they cut pine wood, and so he had a truck that would haul wood. So I can't remember, though, if he hauled any of the lumber to build the house, but I know he hauled, he hauled the lumber for the trusses mm -hmm. to go on the roof. Anybody else help? Well, he didn't have much help 
other than that. But uh, he was going to put a big long board at the end of the house. And he had to climb the ladder to do that. I thought I was going to have to climb the ladder and help him. But a man from church come and helped him. So I was happy that day I didn't have to climb the ladder. I'm awful clumsy. Who was so, it that come to help him? Troy Lee Phillips. Mm -hmm. Reckon he just showed up at the right time or Daddy had called him? or I, No, Daddy. He just showed up and was here to help. I don't know how Troy Lee found it out, but uh, he was awful good neighbor. And oh, yeah. Good to help anybody. Mm -hmm. How, do you remember how long it took to build the house? Was Daddy just building it mostly? Uh, well, it seemed to me like it took forever. Uh, Henry laid the blocks for the basement. That's Daddy's other brother. And he, and he did it after he worked of a day. So he, it took a long time to get the basement blocks laid. Before he, he could start on the upper part. Mm-hmm. When we first moved in, I, a story Granny shared with me, no one asked this, but I just found it, thought it was really interesting. It was after Pap died and we were all down here talking about something. It was a story none of us had ever heard, was that when we first moved in, we didn't have any doorknobs. No, we had run out of money. We didn't have any doorknobs. And so his uncle, Uncle Frank, Frank, he... Come. He went and bought us a bunch of doorknobs. He come to see you and then said, why in the world don't you have doorknobs? And yeah. she said, we didn't got no money, so he yeah. went and bought them. Yeah. Jerry was really good at planning. Uh, you know, he could figure lumber and he could figure how much it would take to build a house like somebody wanted it. And most people can't do that, mm -hmm. but he could. And he helped a lot of people build a house. He did. And then... Uh, the church we went to uh, was getting awful crowded, and they built a new church. And they put Jerry in charge of that, mm -hmm. building the church. And then years later, him and Matt built the fellowship hall. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful job they done mm -hmm. on building the church and the beautiful church. Who had the best sense of humor, you or Pap? Well, I don't, Dad, Pap had a pretty good sense of humor, but I think I do too, so I don't, I wouldn't say. Lots of stuff to life about. What's your best memory of Pap before you had kids? Before the kids come along? Well, like I said, I told him when he asked me to marry him that I couldn't cook. I didn't ho hardly know how to cook nothing but pancakes. And he said he'd help me, he'd teach me. See, he'd been in the Marines, and he knew more about cooking than I did. He'd lived off from here to Ohio and California. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, been on his own. You'd still been at home. Mm -hmm. Well, you went some places, though, yeah. Gas Gastonia and yeah. Ohio. So this is the last one we'll ask about Pat. says, after all the years of marriage, did you think it would be what it was? What do you mean what it was? Well, I mean, you know, when you very first get married, you have all these thoughts and dreams and things, and is that what it turned out to be, or did it turn out to be something different? Well, I was awful brokenhearted because uh, Pat died and left me, but mm. he had worked so hard so many years. And he had heart trouble. He he had heart attacks. And uh, I was, I thought he'd live to be real old. So mm -hmm. I was disappointed that he didn't. So you thought that you would just grow old together, both of you would just get older and older and older, and he left you too soon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we was married for 52 years. We celebrated our 50th anniversary yeah and then he lived two more years after that yeah I, sh I sure didn't want to give him up he's a good husband a good father if anything went wrong at the house he could fix it and I didn't have to worry about nothing 
so everybody told me how good he was, and I didn't believe it. So I finally found it out this telling me the truth. All those people that told you that, then you had 52 years to see it up close and personal.